I'm here at Connell Chevrolet in Costa Mesa, California. I'm going to take a look at the brand spanking new C8 mid-engine Stingray Corvette. The C8 Corvette's design was inspired by a fighter jet. So they say, I think it was more like their new competition, the Ferrari and Lamborghini. The C8 Stingray takes Corvette to a whole new level. It has more angles, slender headlights, new and exciting technology, sleeker and bigger air ducts with radiators to cool off the engine. Building on the C7 Corvette, the C8 keeps its Corvette look with its wide stance, chiseled and low profile while improving and maximizing its performance in every way, acceleration, braking and handling. The cockpit is moved forward 17 inches to make room for the engine in the back and to give better visibility while driving for the driver. This 2020 Stingray has a 3LT with a Z51 package. It has blind spot warnings, side markers on the side view mirrors, front cameras, rear cameras with sensors, black skirts for the side vents, GT2 seats, brimble brakes, an aero kit, and much, much more. One of the techie items that stood out the most is the GPS nose lift. The front suspension has screw jacks that can raise the car up by 2 inches for those high places. You can geotag up to 1000 locations in the memory bank so every time you come across that spot, the front end will raise 2 inches. The side view mirrors are now located on the body of the car and extended 3 inches since the car is wider and longer. Now I have a strong feeling that this is the basic aero kit. I'm sure they're gonna have a visible carbon fiber aero kit and a painted one as well. This is a super wide air vent to get all that cool air into the engine. The black skirt on the vent can be a different color if you choose. You'll have to be careful when opening the door. The skirt for the vent sticks out and will definitely get ruined if you lean it on anything. It can be super expensive. Looking from the top, you really notice all the overlapping surfaces and angles this has on the spoiler, tail lights, and bumper. One thing you'll never see on a Corvette is a Chevrolet badge. The hatch has cooling vents on each side to release the hot air from the engine and glass in the middle so you and others can admire the engine. The Stingray's engine is a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 engine that will push out 495 horsepower and 470 pound feet of torque. And although it sounds pretty low, it's super efficient at laying it down. It goes zero to 60 in less than three seconds. A lot has to do with the weight ratio. 60% of the car's weight is in the back half. And it's also due to the brand new Michelin tires. What you see here is the removable top that all Corvettes come with. The back trunk also fits two sets of golf clubs. The 2020 Corvette is in supercar territory. This car has a tried and true LS push rod engine. The engine has been out since 1997 and has been upgraded ever since. The LS engines are known to be dependable and easy to work on. But it's a mid-engine car now which means it needs to be lifted most of the time when the engine needs to be looked at or worked on which means more money, more, more money. This engine is similar to the C7 Z06's. It has active fuel management. Four cylinders will shut off for fuel economy. It has a dry sump oil system direct fuel injection. What's different is that it has an 8-speed dual clutch transmission. It shifts gears one thousandths of a second. Chevy wanted to keep the traditional 15 cubic feet of trunk space they've had in the C6 and C7 Corvette and it maintains all that room. 10 cubic feet in the back and 5 cubic feet in the front which means two Randys can fit in back and one Randy can fit in front. It has sequential LED tail lights and lots of air vents to cool off the engine with square exhaust tips. Well, I hope they change that piece. There you have the rear valence to help cool off the engine and for aerodynamics. This is a hybrid spoiler wing and back that's similar to the one that's gonna be on the Mustang Shelby GT500. It generates big downforce from the air coming down off the rear hatch window and outer wing sections give some additional downforce while most of the air going around the cockpit will flow under the wing to reduce drag. Chevy wanted an interior that spoke mid-engine exotic sports car. Something that's way different than any other car on the market is driver focus. They wanted no plastic. Everything is leather wrapped, suede wrapped, carbon fiber or aluminum. 
This is the only square steering wheel in the car business other than a race car, the Ferrari LaFerrari, and now the Stingray. It's squared off so you get better visibility and easy to get in and out. On the left side, you have your cruise control and your Z button, which is a performance mode that you customize. On the right side, you have your heated steering wheel, your phone button, and your infotainment button and roller. I'm assuming if you upgrade to the 2LT package, you'll get the upgraded Bose stereo system and memory settings on both doors. It has paddle shifters, two 8-inch LED screens, and a push-button start. This is the only thing the passenger can really touch and reach, the climate controls. The divider is meant for the passenger to stay away from the driver's controls. That comes straight from the designer's mouth, not me, but I can see it. Here you see the traction control, front end lift, and camera recorder buttons. Next to that, you have the awesome looking PNDR and M gear buttons. M stands for manual. When you look behind you, you see a big ass glass window looking into the engine bay. And below that is a big speaker that reads Corvette Stingray and a wireless charger. So there you go, the 2020 Stingray Corvette. To see more options available, watch my last video which lists the options for the Stingray Corvette. Please hit the like and subscribe button, it motivates me to do more videos. I'm Randy, see ya!